All right, Nintendo Direct time. But yeah, uh, weekends, if I'm caught up on homework, I could probably make that into stream time. Uh, but also, I don't know why. I tend to dedicate my weekend to social experiences, which is kind of hypocritical because Twitch is kind of like a social experience. I don't know. I'm very weird. That's the old autistic brain talking. All right, going to turn off the hype music because uh, we're going to be listening to some Nintendo announcements to to read slash study to. I don't know. I'm just trying to make a lo-fi joke. Oh, God. Ooh, oh, here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Due to COVID-19, release dates and all that. Yeah, they, they, yeah. We kind of figured. Still kind of exists. And here we go. What do we got? What do we got? Ah! I'm gonna die. Is it... <gasps> Fire Emblem! Alright! I've been hearing a lot of people say they wanted a genealogy remake. Why is the UI still showing? Oh, Fire Emblem Warriors. Three hopes. Ah, why did it pause? There we go. Oh, okay. So, Three Houses uh, Warriors game. I have some friends that are p probably, like, pissed right now. <laughs> my friends are like, oh my god, I want a new Fire Emblem. Oh, Three Houses came out three years ago. Well, here you go. Here's your new Fire Emblem. <laughs> Get fucked. It's pretty funny. It's kind of ironic that we're seeing this when I haven't even finished Three Houses. <laughs> There's probably going to be a spoiler in here that I don't even know about. Also, don't worry about the whole time skip thing. I already knew that was like a thing. Damn, this looks, this looks pretty fun. I'm not personally going to buy this. I think the only, like, Warriors game that I really liked that included a Nintendo IP was Hyrule Warriors. So I'm probably going to pass on this, but uh, cool for people who like the original Warriors. June, all right. Off to an interesting start. What up, Takahashi, my dude? Strong start. All right, let's go. Let's go. Yep. Advance Wars, called it. Oh my god, why is it muted? Why is it muted? Wait, is it muted? It's probably not muted. I think I'm paranoid. Hold on a second. Uh, that's awkward. I see right through your plans. Oh my god, I feel like such an idiot. Awaits in Advance Wars 2 Black Hole Rising. More commanding officers and more diverse terrain can be leveraged for additional tactical opportunities. Like blasting through pipelines to cross into enemy territory. In both campaigns, you can fast forward gameplay and reset oh, your turns for go. a smoother tactical experience. Ooh. Flex your strategic muscles outside of both campaigns with additional modes. Go for high scores in the war room. Create and share custom maps in the design room. Or battle friends and frenemies in local and online multiplayer. Nice, online multiplayer. Custom map creator. They're really going to town with this reboot. Two reboot camp marches onto the Nintendo good stuff, Switch good stuff. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Explore an infinite universe. The hell is that? In No Man's Sky. Oh. Every star is the light of a distant sun. Wait, No Man's Sky? I thought that was already on Switch. Each orbited by planets teeming with life. 
Travel to planets probably going to be a cloud version. There is no universe. shot that they actually fit No Man's Sky onto a cartridge. Extraordinary lands and creatures that have never been seen before and may never be seen again. To survive, you must craft your own tools and even your own place to live. This does look cool. In this living I would actually consider universe, playing this. Trade convoys travel between stars. Factions vie for territory. Pirates hunt unwary travelers. And the authorities are ever watchful. Your journey may be fraught with danger. And actions have consequences. Uh, remember when this game was like boring as fuck on release? It took them like what, three years to actually make it good? How will you live in this universe? No Man's Sky lands on Nintendo Switch this summer. Oh wow, okay, so it's not even a cloud version. That's surprising. Ooh. <gasps> Don't tell Mario Strikers is back! Dude! I know so many people were waiting for this to come back. Personally, I'm not crazy about it. Like I never really played many Mario sports games, but this is hype. So cool. That looks so sick. I like the pencil drawn outlines. Those look awesome. Mario Strikers Battle League. Oh, that's cool. Prepare for strike. A five on five sport like soccer that's way heavy on offense. Oh, I know so many people that are happy about this. Passing to teammates, as well as by using tackles, items, and crushing special shots. The main rule in this sport is to rule the field. Try this looks so sick. Than your opponents. I bet people are pissed that Daisy's not wearing like a like a revealing outfit in this one. Because people like to draw Daisy in the striker's uniform. Not only your appearance, I've unfortunately Oh, never mind. Speed, strength, and pass accuracy. Customize as you see fit. Second, the hyper strike. To activate this shot, grab an orb when it appears on the field and charge it while your opponents are distracted. Oh, so it supercharges everybody on your team, not just you. And you'll score not one, but two goals. That's awesome. Up to eight players, four players on each eight team play can online. compete against each other on one Nintendo Switch system. They got local. Yes! Online matches. Oh my god. I mean, the lack of rollback is gonna suck, but like, the fact that they're even including online. And compete for placement in the rankings. Up to 20 players can join a club. So create your own and invite friends and family to play alongside you. Or join an existing one owned by other players. That's sick. The world's top club. Oh, that's so awesome. With items. Tackles and hyper strikes. Anything goes on this field. Mario Strikers Battle League launches on Nintendo Switch June 10th. June 10th, all right. On Nintendo e so Fire Emblem Warriors, Three Hopes, and uh, Mario Strikers. The Mario Strikers. Nintendo fans eating good in June. To Nintendo Switch. We hope you're excited for this Anything Goes Battle Soccer game. That's awesome. Next, please take a look at this. Oh, all right. What do you got? Splatoon 3. Yep, there it is. Called it. What is this? Wait a minute. Are they bringing Octo Expansion to Splatoon 3? Yo! Let's go! I know so many people love the Octo Expansion. Like, I always heard praise for this. Oh, that's great that's coming back. Oh, who dat? Oh! A fist! <laughs> Oh my god, the humor. The humor's pretty fishy. Let's 
see. What is this? Oh. Oh, that's a ring. Flipper flopper. Flippity floppity, you're his property. Oh, all right. So you have to fill in the ring before it lands. Yes, and you can throw the orbs. Thank God. That's nice. All right, so not only are they throwing in new stuff, but some good uh, quality life improvements. This is how you do a sequel. Lost connection? Oh, let me guess. That's like the head honcho of all the uh, salmon. Yep, salmon. Oh, excuse me. I said octo expansion. This is salmon run. That's sick. I like how gritty that trailer looked. In the Splatoon 3 game, the next wave of salmon run. A giant salmonid, one that's never been seen before, was also spotted at the end of the trailer. Will the Inklings and Octolings ink or swim? Uh, well, they can't swim, they would die. Ah, no release date. Alright. Well, at least it was summer, I called that. Alright. Give us something good, Takahashi. This does not look familiar. That's a hand. Oh, that's a robot. Damon X Machina 2. A full remake of the first front mission game is storming onto Nintendo Switch. Who? In this tactical RPG, ah. you'll pilot weaponized machines called Vanzers and lead your battalion to victory. Interesting. I don't know why, but it kind of reminds me of XCOM. Gain the upper hand in battle by aiming for enemy parts to destroy. Mix and match various weapons and parts to customize your Vanzer. Uncover oh god, the there's a carrot! This classic, when Front Mission 1 Remake launches on Nintendo Switch this summer. And in the future, the mm -hmm. sequel, Front Mission oh. 2 Remake, will also launch on Nintendo Switch. Nice. I mean, I've never heard of Front Mission, but that's cool. Get set for a high-octane Disney oh. Pixar Combat Racer. Yay. From the creators of the Asphalt series comes rip-roaring racing action across Disney and Pixar-inspired race Wow, I guess Sora and Smash really race burst open the floodgates for Disney on Switch, on huh? Circuits, using each one's special abilities oh, wait, no, never mind. How could I forget about Game of the, the Year, Disney, some, some, or whatever the hell? for symphonic speed, Sully for monstrous power, or Mulan for explosive maneuvers. Each racer also possesses powerful ultimate skills. So it's Perfect Disney Pixar Mario Kart. Second, Disney Speedstorm is a free to play. See, this is just going to be their answer to Mario Kart 9, and everyone's just going to be pissed about it. Disney and Pixar characters, circuits, carts, and more. Plus, enjoy cross-platform play as well as split-screen and online multiplayer modes. Disney Speedstorm races onto Nintendo Switch this summer. Huh, that's neat, I guess. Dive into these classic <gasps> Oh, here we go. Switch. More NSO stuff? Unleash the power of the Force oh. in this classic Star okay, Wars cool. action adventure. Force Unleash. As Neat. Darth Vader's secret apprentice, you'll use devastating force powers. Oh my god, these Saber look like PS2 graphics. Hunt down Jedi Masters on iconic planets. Yeah, so far Nintendo like IPs have had my attention, but I'm hopeful. Uh, we've got we've got plenty more to sift use through. Button controls or opt for motion controls enhanced from the original Wii version. You can also do no, it but with like a graphically, this looks like shit. I get it. The Switch, it's Star like 720p, but like this looks so bad. This looks like PS3. 
Mondo Isha, which isn't saying much. A complete saga of legendary assassin Ezio Auditore da Firenze awaits in three critically acclaimed <laughs> Disney Mario. Games. Yeah, for real. Like, why? Explore Renaissance Italy and 16th century Constantinople. Oh, that's right. Assassin's Creed. People were talking about this. Secrets of the Creed. If I were to Across guess, games, it'll be cloud version. And DLC. Plus, take advantage of enhanced features for the Nintendo Switch system on the go, including touchscreen controls, HD rumble, and optimized. I mean, the graphics don't look display. awful. Assassin's Creed: The Ezio Collection launches on Nintendo Switch February 17th. Pilot mobile suits in dynamic action RPG battles. Oh, Gundam. Strange incidents called breaks. All right then. Across the Gundam Probably gonna be one of those games that's Gundam more popular in Japan because Gundam is huge overseas. Line. You'll lead three mobile suits in battle. Enhance oh, you played on the Wii 360. Their power. I don't think I've ever heard the Force Unleashed. The, the, the furthest extent of my Star Wars game knowledge is like the Lego games and then also uh, KOTOR. Because I had a friend that was like addicted to KOTOR. In the triumphant return of this RPG classic. RPG classic? A remaster of the acclaimed RPG Chrono Cross is coming Ooh. to the Nintendo Switch system. Okay. Those cutscenes look day, awful. The protagonist Surge wanders into an alternate world. Is it just a port? There was no way this is a remake. His home world, he finds that he no longer exists here. How did this happen? What is this mysterious another world? I Travel back and forth between both worlds to unravel the story. Okay, don't get me wrong. This is huge. Like Chrono Cross, Depending thank God. But make, like, the allies who accompany you and the endings that trigger. I'm not different. crazy about the graphical style they're going with. Have been made to this remaster, like the ability to turn off enemy encounters and a newly enhanced what? soundtrack. What? Why? Plus, Why would you turn off enemy dreamers, encounters? Originally released on the Satellaview. That, that's like included. the point. Experience the also, it's the Teleview content. In this text -based Something adventure. I never thought I'd hear about. Chrono Cross, the radical dream That's edition, pretty awesome, though. Dashes and slashes its way onto Nintendo Chrono Switch Trigger on NSL? Pre-orders begin today Please? on Nintendo eShop. If they're doing this with Chrono Cross, they gotta do something for Chrono Trigger. <gasps> Kirby! Kirby! Called it! I called this! Still looks fucking cute. It looks so cute! Use the power of four! What? Did Kirby just vor a car? Oh my god. What in the hell did I just witness? It's Kirby's latest unforgettable 3D platform. That's not even a Kirby transformation. Kirby that is Kirby's land. skin stretched over a car. It takes place in a mysterious world with an unusual mix of nature and civilization. To rescue the kidnapped Waddle Dees, Kirby sets off on a new adventure. Introducing Mouthful Mode. I'm sorry? A That's a mouthful of a statement. Okay, so there's going to be multiple. What else? Vending, vending machine. To attack with juice cans. That looks... That looks hilarious. Or cone? Become a piercing cone? With mouthful mode, okay. new actions will be available for Kirby depending on the object. Okay, so it's kind of like Mario Odyssey transformations, but instead of Cappy, it's Kirby. With new moves from copy okay, you know what? I, I can see this working really well. Kirby can even weaponize a mouthful of water like this. As Kirby rescues Waddle Dees, honestly, Waddle I'm kind of sold. Continue to grow. <gasps> Growing a town over time. Available. Yes. Oh my god, the completionist is like quaking in his boots right now At with Waddle excitement. Dees weapon shop. Familiar copy abilities can be evolved. Evolve copy abilities oh. to span Kirby's range of attacks. Nice. They'll All right, I love that. Kirby's appearance and make him even more powerful. Okay, you know what? I'm pretty sold on this. Some copy abilities may have stronger evolved forms. 
Wow, you could turn Kirby into Spyro the Dragon. Our pink puff ball. Who are the beast what in the fuck is that? What are these enemies trying to do? They're trying to kidnap the Waddle Dees. to this world? Kirby and the Forgotten Land launches on the Nintendo Switch system March 25th. March 25th. I think we already had the release date, but Nintendo e good reminder. <laughs> That was Kirby on relay, but do I get paid soon? Later next month. Do a let's play on this? I will definitely look into that. Let's take a look at some more Nintendo Switch headlines. This is definitely something I would want to play. Nintendo Direct will run the Minasan. What? Butter no Tani Shohei this. Pitcher no Tani Shohei this. Nintendo Switch is the Konka Hajimete. MLB the show. That's right, Otani son. What? MLB the show is coming to Nintendo. Literally, Switch. who wanted that this? Means you can play modes like Road to the Show and Diamond Dynasty. I am Nintendo willing to Switch. put money but down that anyone that plays MLB play the show does not own a control. Nintendo Switch. With cross progression, you can also earn and use content on any Like this just makes zero MLB sense. The show 22 is it also looks like shit. Take your progress on the go with you. On Nintendo Switch. Don't get me wrong, I'm not now trying to see individual blades of grass, but this just looks so rough. On other consoles, like, no need to who worry. wanted this? You can invite them and play online. It's kind of funny seeing a PlayStation Studios logo on a Nintendo, Nintendo Switch, Switch player, game. But this is ridiculous. Sheesh. Sheesh. I was weird. Have your hands full of games with these collections. Challenge accepted. Three Kingdom Hearts collections are almost here. From Let's Kingdom go. Hearts to Kingdom oh, Hearts God. 3. Ah, I moved my desk. Remind DLC. Every entry is coming to Nintendo Switch as cloud versions that can be played while connected. Yeah, yeah the, the cloud versions I hear are like um How do you put this not good? Alongside Sora, Donald, Goofy, and more for the first time in TV, tabletop, or handheld mode. Kingdom Hearts Intergram Masterpiece for Cloud, containing all three game collections, soars onto Nintendo Switch tomorrow. I guess that's neat, Each but collection's I... cloud version mm. will also be individually available on Nintendo eShop. I would recommend just playing this on PlayStation. <gasps> Lenoa is coming to Nintendo Switch. No way! Yo! You'll run, jump, and... Clonoa's back, baby! To grab and throw enemies. Okay, I've never played Klonoa. I barely know who this person is, but I've heard so many people wanting Klonoa back. I've always heard good stuff about Klonoa as a 3D platforming uh, series. Or a, or 2.5D platformer. So glad Klonoa is getting re-acknowledged. That's so cool. Also, Portal. Either way... You're in for a puzzling treat. Okay, honestly, for this, in these it took them this games, long to the put Portal, Portal onto Switch. Key to surviving in prison <laughs> so in this is why Half-Life life. 3 hasn't been worked on. Create portals Wait. and warp to other areas to find cake? You don't mean uh, still unconfirmed. You orange box on Switch? Cubes, lasers, and robots with unnerving levels of personality. Orange box on Switch? The sequel adds in local, online, and split screen. You've got the Portal games. Mode. And that part's no lie. Calling Neither it Half-Life on Switch, I feel like that's something they would do. When Portal Companion Collection warps onto Nintendo Switch this year. A classic yeah. comes alive. Nope. Wait, that looks familiar. Why do I feel like I've seen that before? Legend of... What is that? Legend of Mana? I'm sorry, Whomstiv? I'm legitimately clueless. Previously unreleased outside of Japan, the RPG Live Alive makes its overseas debut. Live Alive. Now in HD 2D. Multiple stories featuring different protagonists. Never heard of this, but it looks like it's using the Octopath engine, so they're certainly doing this game justice. A tribesman comes of age in a world without words. The Wild West, a wanderer with a bounty on his head, fights for his life. Imperial China, a kung fu master searches for a worthy successor. 
twilight of Edo, Japan, as Shinobi undertakes an important secret mission. Present day, a martial artist strives to become the strongest there ever was. The near future, a youth with psychic powers takes a stand against evil. The distant future, a newly built robot is swept up in a tragedy in space. What other stories are on the horizon? I mean, that's cool and all, but personally, I'm not big on this. Live alive, it is cool Nintendo to see, Switch like, July otherwise Japan-exclusive games coming on over to uh, the West. Always down to see that happen. How was that? Next up is this. I thought this was Earthbound, honestly. It's a new iteration of the Wii Sports series. What? Nintendo Switch Sports. Bruh. Please take a look. Bruh. <laughs> Here are the sports. What is this? Nintendo Switch Sports game. What is this shit? These three from past Wii Sports games. Nah, nah, nah. Hold on. You got a me maker on the Switch. Who the fuck are these? Bowling. Roll the ball straight ahead or give it a little curve. And Chambara. Knock your opponent off the platform while attacking and defending. You literally have a me maker. Why not utilize that? Three additional sports are joining the lineup. Soccer. Use a gigantic ball to make dynamic plays. Okay, I guess that's neat. That that's Enjoy matches with joy I could see that being enjoyable. Shoot and perform diving headers. By attaching a Joy-Con controller to the leg strap accessory included with the physical version of oh. the game, you can play shootout mode. With okay, that's pretty cool. I, I'm I'm down with that. Bad Good music. use of tech. Bad mitten. Left and right while keeping the shuttlecock That's in the like air. almost tennis. Powerful smash shots to I mean, don't get me wrong. Hands. I love a good game of uh, badminton from time to time, Finally, but volleyball. Use a volleyball. To serve, bump, well, I guess that's all right. My sister played volleyball. Spike the ball. This looks like a hack. It really the does look like a hack. Local play with family and friends on one Nintendo Switch system as well as online play across all sports. Okay, so at least it supports online, online, but... Or opt for random matchmaking. Literally, the, the only win, problem I have with this is the characters are not just the me's that you have on your Try system. On that is challenge. the only thing that bothers me. Otherwise, this is okay. How that? Since I'm already here, I'd like to show you some gameplay of one of the newly added sports, volleyball. What? Why? Mr. Takahashi! Oh! Oh, Hello Koizumi. There, everyone. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi from Nintendo. Wow, Mr. Koizumi. I can see you're ready to play. All right, I'll play some volleyball online together with Mr. Koizumi. Do you have your wrist strap ready? Yes, of course. I've got plenty of space around me. <laughs> Just an well. awkward pause to be like, remember your wrist strap, and then no All one's right, going to care. Let's start. We'll be including some live commentary. This literally just looks like a Wii Sports like ROM hack. All right. Oh, we're doing this. Uh, volleyball. What? A newly added sport in Nintendo Wait a Switch Sports. Oh, so they. What can we expect? They have Mii's the anyway. Team. Then what's the point of it's the Koizumi original Zero characters? With Takahashi up front. I would understand if, like, those characters were just Koizumi in serving. the background, but How why do you just have all these default characters? Takahashi makes the block. Another one's coming. Koizumi saves it. I don't know. This just looks weird. Here. Something here about this feels spike. wrong. This is the like alternate timeline Wii back. Sports. And they score. Takahashi didn't quite get it in time. All right. Well, it's okay. It's okay. The game's not over. Now the other team serves. Koizumi receives it. Takahashi sets it up. Why are they? Spikes, why are they spending right time the showing this off? There's another attack. Now's their chance. They get the ball, and with the setup from Koizumi, Takahashi scores! This, why? They got a point with this that fierce is spike. not as fun to watch as they're making it out to be. Let's stop our match here. Please. After all, we were in the middle of a presentation. All right, I'll be leaving now. Love you, Koizumi, but come on. That was an introduction to Nintendo Switch Sports. The game launches April 29th. 
We're planning a free update in the summer that allows you to play soccer matches with a Joy-Con controller and the leg strap accessory. What? You can use the accessory to play shootout mode at launch. Why are you addition, adding it in a patch? We're also Just planning a delay second free the update game. this fall that lets you enjoy golf. Why delay it? Why not delay it? It's it's now, golf. A request to everyone. It is golf. To help ensure that you can all enjoy playing online, we'll be having an online playtest before the game launches to evaluate various technical aspects. Okay, that at least they're testing online. Maybe definitely like to ask for your help with this. Yeah, maybe now they'll realize their online is um How do I put this delicately? Shit. On the dates shown on screen. For those of you interested, please visit the official Nintendo website for more details. Thank you. But literally, like, just delay it so you can add the leg That's strap support for now about and the golf. Like, I hope you're looking forward to this. Game. I don't, I don't understand Let's Nintendo sometimes. Nintendo Switch Heavy. <laughs> All right, shake it off. Still got some optimism left in me. Get those and, okay. Skills ready. Probably just more Taiko DLC. The latest Taiko no Tatsujin game is coming. Oh, Rhythm Festival. That's right. I think they announced this before. Man, it's the RPG one. Strive to become a Taiko master, along with brand new character Kumokyun. Drum to dozens of bop and beats, including Megalovania, Gurenge, Feel Special, and Racing into the Night. And that's not all. I mean, you could already play Megalovania on the original Taiko. Zelda is included. That's 76 songs total. Okay, Legend of Zelda. Plus, That's take neat. Take advantage of a practice mode to replay sections of songs as many times as you'd like. That's a nice also change. Been added for everyone to enjoy. Put on a live concert with up to four players in Donchen Band. Or face off against each other in Great Drum Toy War. This is cool for Taiko fans, but generally I'm not like a Drum rhythm game person. Content. So, yeah, I'm afraid I'm not really. I don't really have much to say for this. Plus, a paid in-game subscription service that gives you access to over 500. Why a subscription service? What? Why? What's new with these Nintendo Switch games? That's a little strange. Subscription service for for songs? RPG game Triangle Strategy is almost here. The protagonist Sarah Noah and his allies will be in gold. Forgot Triangle the Strategy was still being worked on. Three nations. Your choices and conviction will determine. I remember the, the demo was decent, so Wolford, I, I hope this does Noah, pretty well. I mean, the name is obviously now, awful, but otherwise, it's got a lot going for it. Promise of a better world. A new demo playable to the end of Chapter Three will be available on Nintendo eShop later today. Another demo. Save data from the demo. Why? Can be transferred to the full game once purchased. You already did a demo like once More or twice. Action awaits in the paid DLC Cuphead: The Delicious Last Course. Here, you'll explore a brand new Inkwell Isle. All right, that makes sense. A bevy of new bosses with wild personalities and even wilder attacks. The clever Miss Chalice is a new playable character. Take down fearsome foes with her double jumps, rolling dodges, and more. Cuphead, the delicious last course, wallops its way onto Nintendo Switch June 30th. That's neat. A free update is Ooh. coming to the Metroid Dread game. What is up with this? All it takes is one hit. Even oh, one-hit like kill mode. Getting hit even once causes a game over in the brutal Dread mode Oh difficulty. my god. Can you face this new challenge? That's going to be brutal. Oh my god. I could already imagine the speedruns. Speedruns are going to be busted. Increased recovery with the newly added rookie mode difficulty. Oh. This free update launches later today. No details on rookie mode? A second free update in April will add a boss rush mode in which you'll battle bosses continuously, one at a time. Okay, that's cool. Nice that Dread is getting these kinds of updates. Something's bound for Nintendo Switch. Please, please. Earthbound. Yes! Yes! Earthbound, baby! It's about fucking time! Finally! Fucking finally! Oh my god! Oh, I am so happy! Yes! 
Oh my god! Oh my god, I bet Chucky Conroy is losing his shit right now. Oh my god. I'm so happy! And Earthbound Beginnings, let's go! I- I called it Mother One and Earthbound. I called it! I didn't think I would actually be I didn't think they would give a shit. That's awesome. Oh my god. I'm so happy. It's the original Earthbound. Earthbound and Earthbound oh, beginnings will be added to yes! Nintendo Switch Online later today. Yes! Oh, I'm so happy. Oh my god. I've been wanting to play this game forever. God, that, that's, oh. I have a friend who's currently at work, and I can already tell he's gonna lose his fucking mind when he sees that. Also, generic zombie game, hooray. Get to Fumaden, fuck you, Konami. Demon Slayer, Kimetsu no Yaiba. I kind of figured that would be coming to Switch. Lego Brawls? So they'll do anything except acknowledge Lego Universe, huh? Two Point Campus. It's gonna be interesting. What did you think? Here's some news for Mario Kart fans. <gasps> Many of you have been enjoying the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe no game way. since its launch in 2017. No way! So, we've been working on remastering select courses from across the Mario oh. Kart series, and we'll be releasing them as paid downloadable content. Please take a look at this. Oh, not a good move. Okay, look, I love Coconut Mall. Don't get me wrong, music fucks. And the track is just fun, but... Oh, you are gonna make people so mad about that. That's gonna piss off a lot of people. Okay. You know, on you one hand, it makes sense for me. Mario Kart or makes sense to me. But eight courses will be released at a time over six waves. That's 48 additional courses okay. that plan on releasing. You have the all these courses that you're remastering. Courses such as Coconut. Why not just put them into like its own game? 48 courses is enough to be its own standalone game. I'm not crazy for thinking this, right? Will be included in the first wave. Of course, you can play these courses locally and online. Look, on one hand, I understand. It is the best-selling game on the Switch, without a doubt. Like, the numbers do not lie. The but, first wave of the Mario Kart 8 you know, at the same time, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe March came out 18. closer to the uh, release of the Switch. People are already burnt out of this. this DLC at no additional oh cost no. With a Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack membership. Or purchase the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass on its own. People are going to be salty about that one. How was that? I hope you're looking forward to the additional courses in Mario Kart There's going to be a lot of salty reactions this to that. This next segment will be our last announcement. Please take a look. All right, what have you got left? Monster Hunter? Fighting in order to live. Wait. Wait, no. This art style looks familiar. To fight. That's the way of our world. Why do I have a good feeling about this? Ionios. No! 
Don't fuck. No way. No way. Also, waifu. Hello. I saw this coming. You are. You're not. There's no way. Fine for you, isn't it? There's no way. You could try, try to move forward again. Is this what I think it is? They're not your friends anymore. They're his few. Oh my God. This is either two things. One, I really hope it isn't. And one that I really hope it is. It's the only way you're gonna and defeat I hope is the second enemy. one. Whatever life is lost, I won't let you soldier all alone. What Come on. What is it? What? <laughs> it's Xenoblade! It's Xenoblade! Is it three or is it X Remastered? I don't know. I never looked at Xenoblade X, which is the same for like most people. Title reveal. Come on. I love the flute, by the way. Instrumentals are beautiful. Come on. See the blade? Yes! Oh my god! Yes! I don't know what sounds I'm making right now. Oh my god! The story of Xenoblade Chronicles 3 ties together the futures of the worlds depicted in Xenoblade Chronicles and Xenoblade Chronicles 2. <gasps> Xenoblade 3! This September. September! you look forward to it. That's all for today's Nintendo Oh my god! I'm not even pissed that we didn't get Breath of the Wild 2 news. I'm not even mad! Like... That was amazing! Oh my god. I mean, everyone's gonna completely forget about the Gilva Sunder stuff after this, but, like... Holy shit! That's... Good lord! That is a good Nintendo Direct right there. That is really good. Uh, wow. I am pleasantly surprised. That was amazing. Um, oh god, oh, I gotta let the dust settle. Oh. But also, no smash? <laughs> no, it's weird. It's the first Nintendo Direct without uh, smash news. It, it's kind of bittersweet. Uh, it, it definitely feels weird not expecting a smash announcement anymore. But, um, for those watching on YouTube... Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to talk to me about everything in the Nintendo Direct and other things gaming too, follow me on Twitch. Link is in the description down below. And also, I recommend subscribing on YouTube because you're here right now, assuming you watched the end of the video, in which case, thank you, um, so that you don't miss other gaming content from me. I have uh, a, a video in the works uh, releasing next week. Can't talk about what it is. But stick around for it. It's going to be great. And then I'm also working on my Legends Arceus video. And I'm working on the emulation video. So I am preparing the stream of content. So you don't want to miss that. See you in the next video.